Texas All Water Fishing. Now I'm out here at a very popular spot. The water is very high. We had a very close to a full moon yesterday or overnight. So the water is really high. It's going to be a little windy today. Uh, wind's going to pick up close to about 20 miles an hour. So I'm going to get on the water as fast as I can. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Sorry, I see a lot of birds out here and they're over just a little bit over to my left and they're working and diving so I'm gonna load as fast as I can so I get on the water but thanks thanks for coming back If I see any fish, see if I see any reds on the grass line working. Always, always reds, always grass line. I mean, you you find all the top predator on grass lines, but you know typically it's the reds that like to cruise the grass line, picking off the bait. But yeah, I see the birds. They're like in this little marsh area right here, but it doesn't look like. When driving from the road, it doesn't look like that marsh area where they're at was really very deep. Maybe just a couple inches. Maybe some trap bait in there. So I don't know if I can get my kayak back in there. This is about two feet right here where it's normally just about half a foot. So I'm thinking the grass will be flooded and the reds. Turn me back in there. I'm just working on the bottom a little bit. Let's see if I find a flounder chilling. Give me a little flounder flounder. That's a few times at that point. Surprised. Nothing came off of it. But it happens, fish move, especially like I said, you have a high tide, so everything's, you know, a lot of stuff's gonna run more into the grass where they normally don't get or can't get. It's not, they don't have water in some of those spots, or the water isn't as high, bait don't run in there. So it's gonna be an interesting day to say the least. Even if I had fished during a while, it'll still make an interesting day. Just cause with the water level being like it is. I always fish drains. I don't care. Even if the drain is dry, you should always cast around in front of it. Cause you never, you never know. Right here, this is pretty good drain. Nice deep drain. So we're gonna see if there's fish hanging out in it. If we can get someone to react. Maybe a speck or red. I'm just popping it, letting it fall. Letting it fall, letting it rattle. See if we can get a fish on. First one of the day. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wow. It's a croaker. He caught it too. No foul hook on that one. That croaker hit the rattle trap. How funny is that? Look at that. Croaker on the rattle trap. That's too funny. We'll get him off. Alright, I'm going to change it up. I'm going to put on a salty head, jig head, and a 3JD lure. One of the lures that I picked up from this fishing show now. See, I'm gonna pair it up. Here we go, and on. Should be a nice color. Water is nice and green here in the bayou. When I get into the marsh area, it might be get a little darker, so I might switch off and put that Texas rattling jig head with the um, G5 
chicken boy lure back on but right now we're gonna roll with this for a little while let's see you know sometimes you change up the color sometimes it can be simple something as simple as changing up the jig head where it's falling slower or swimming slower swimming different so, you know swimming in the higher water column where it's not falling as fast because you have a lot of jig head so sometimes just changing that jig head will make the difference in getting a bite and not getting a bite unfortunately we just had two boats go through one of them kind of did a donut right here because those birds working so i guess he thought hey if i just run over a spot right underneath these birds turn back around and fish while these birds are working i will catch a fish <laughs> so i don't with that being said do i have a fish on oh i sure do oh goodness goodness grace that's a big one. Oh, that's a good fish oh, golly uh, so they put that color on man as soon as he just hit the he nailed it and i thought i was rubbing oyster on bottom honestly i'm going this way and so i thought i was rubbing oyster that's kind of silly kind of silly of me but hey you know just put that color on and sometimes like i said it makes a difference but there we go he's a little guy he's not not really too big of a, a fish to really fuss with or he had that burst of energy right at the kayak and ran right underneath it and i was like oh my gosh but he didn't pull drag so that was a tell sign that he wasn't slot so but the, hey like i said just put that color on right that's awesome talking about birds not paying attention running my mouth like i do most of the time so anyway how about that nice little red i'll take him you know other than scaring a few in that one little hit i haven't uh no blow ups no tail signs just dust clouds and that's really it not a whole lot of sign of reds back here anything but a lot of mullet there's some big mullet too the reds could have pushed further back into the grass to some more of the shallower shallower water uh don't think i'm gonna chase them it's a little late in the morning so i think i'm gonna start hitting back out of the marsh and you know fish fish the entire way but head back out of the marsh and see if i can get some more catch at least one or two slots or churchill bayou and around there before i start heading in but i was hoping really hoping to come back here and find some schools and they still me they, they're still back here i'm sure they're back here they're just they're going as far as see that's the problem with a high tide a lot is when you have a real high tide is that they'll go back as far as they can i mean they'll even belly crawl to get to get to the bait or just chase stuff in the back i was hoping because we had an outgoing tide that they'll start coming out of some of the 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 flooded grass areas and come back to this back lake but other than what maybe the four or five that i've seen and when i saw them they're real skittish they just like took off but I actually i didn't even see them i just saw the dust cloud so and the one hit i had um just not not a hot not a whole lot going on to make me continue to try to grind out a catch back here There we go. Uh. Uh. <laughs> He's foul hooked, man, but hey, it's a flounder, right? <laughs> hooked on the belly. Fine little guy, he got hooked. I'm sorry, man. Oh! We're gonna get you off, bud. We're gonna get you off. There he goes. A little flatty. Flatty, flatty. Boop. All right, he's gone. So let's uh, unwrap me and get back going again. 
Try to fill a little thump. Then I filled a second thump. And that's the second thump I set the hook. So he must have landed on it. Well, that's gonna be it you know I just caught through one fish that was around maybe 15 inches and well I caught a little flounder too and a little croaker but you know what I don't want to brag all right so that's gonna be it caught a couple of undersized few undersized fish today water level is extremely high wind it's a little windy it's not too too bad but water level is really high Kind of threw everything off. I think a lot of stuff got pushed back into the grass, like I've probably been saying all day. But a lot of stuff got put back in, pushed back into the grass, and that's why I wasn't seeing him at some of the normal places where I would hook up. But you know what? I just wanted to come out, enjoy the day in the kayak. I knew it was gonna be a beautiful day. I hadn't been in the kayak for a little while. I apologize for everybody that likes to watch kayak fishing videos. But, you know, I had a few things going on. I am back out, back in the kayak again. Thanks for watching. Please hit the thumbs up button. I know it's a little hard sometimes. But hit the thumbs up button. Push the bell notification. Let you know the next time I upload a video. Don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully next time you catch me hooking up.